Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 12th of 2023. Well, it is titled the largest satellites of Earth. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image taken back in March of two, the two largest satellites of Earth. One, our natural satellite, the moon, and we see that to the left here, and we can see distinctive craters on it. The moon being divided into two main main parts, which include the highlands or heavily cratered areas where craters are on top of craters and the Maria, which are much smoother areas, sometimes called seas, even though, of course, we know that there is no liquid water on the moon or seas of any kind. But they are actually ancient lava flows from many billions of years ago. Now off to the right, we see the second largest satellite of Earth, and that is the International Space Station. Now in the image, it certainly looks like these two are close together, but they are not. And in fact, one would have passed in front of the other here, and that would be the nearer one being the International Space Station. International Space Station in low Earth orbit is only a few hundred miles up above Earth's surface, at the moon being many times further away than that. And we can see that when we think about their orbits. The International Space Station orbits around Earth once every 90 minutes so every hour and a half it makes one complete cycle around Earth. The moon on the other hand takes nearly a month to make one complete orbit and that's as we see it going through its phases over that period of time. Now the phase we see here would would be a crescent phase and we can see that because of the illuminated portion off to the upper right and we can see that that's less than half of the illuminated surface that we are seeing. The moon not giving off its own light is always half illuminated by the sun and half in darkness. The phases depend on what portion of that illuminated section we see. If we see in only a small portion of it, we would see a crescent phase, whereas if we see a large portion or almost all of it illuminated, we would call that a full phase of the moon. So while the moon is always half illuminated in sunlight, depending on its positioning around Earth, we will see more or less of that illuminated portion. However, what we do always see is that the same side of the moon always faces Earth because it orbits around Earth exactly as fast as it rotates on its axis, keeping one side always facing Earth, meaning that for most of our history, only one side of the moon had been studied until the space age when craft were sent out beyond the moon to actually image that far side. So that was our picture of the day for June 12th of 2023. It was titled The Largest Satellites of Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.